Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator Myths, a series where you guys ask me questions, give me challenges, or tell me myths that you guys have about the game, and I try to answer them in this video. We have a lot of good ones to go through today, so let's get it started. Before we get into today's episode, I want to see something really quick. I want to see the new killing animation with the Mind Slave, so we are gonna give her this. Then we are going to turn on Titan Mode! There we go, let's see what she looks like. Alright, she's walking in place. Oh, I hope it's not glitched out. Please do not be glitched out. Let me put it up like this and make sure she moves. No! Okay, so she's stuck in place if I put it in Titan Mode as she's by the bush. Let me see if she starts walking, then I'll turn her into Titan Mode. Hold on, let me do this real quick. Alright, there you go. So, Titan Mode now! Yes! Alright, we're good. So let's see what this shit looks like. Come on, get her! Get her in Titan Mode! What are you doing?! Mind Slave, obey! Stab her! Stab her now! No! What the fuck? Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to do this when she's already stabbing her because as you guys can see, Saki becomes 10 times more dumb when you turn her into Titan Mode after you give her the- Oh, wait, 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 wait! Oh shit! Oh fuck! What the hell? What the fuck? Hey! Oh shit! Oh crap! Okay, hold on! We gotta do this in an open area because I can't see anything. Hold on. We're gonna fast forward time. Come on, Saki. There you go. And I think I should do it right here. It's more open. So let's turn her into Titans. There you go. And let's watch the magic happen, ladies and gentlemen. Hurry up, Saki! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Gosh, she's walking so freaking slow. What are you doing? Fucking get her! She's right there. All you gotta do is turn a little bit. And where's the screwdriver? It's not in her hands. Maybe she's just gonna get her with her bare hands. Fight her fist fight. Okay, let me see what it looks like from here. Come on, get her. Yeah, there you go, there you go. Yes. Okay. Oh, fuck. That is crazy. <laughs> oh, shit. There's no stabbing sound effect, though. But there's a big ass screwdriver. Saki Titan is killing Kokona Titan. Oh, this is so cool. Please, a big fountain of Titan blood. Please gush out. That would be amazing. Let's see. Come on. Give me the blood works. Come on. Give it to me. No. What? Okay. I just wanted to check that out. I was really curious about that. And now they are rolling away like idiotas, like so. Anyway, I just wanted to see that. Let's get into the myths. Can you bury two people in one grave? I don't know, but there are going to be a lot of burying myths in today's episode. The only thing Yandere-chan worries about is if Senpai will bury his shrimp tempura inside my bento box. But that's for a different story, that's for a different time. That's for the ending of the game. Right now, we are gonna get nobody because they have to go to their lockers. You know what? I'm gonna go to my locker too. Screw this. I'm gonna be a good student. I'm gonna change my Whoa! shoes. Got on my nice polished black ones. Then we are gonna get one random person. Hmm. Let's get Kudere. Yeah, Kudere. She uh she just seems like the right type of person to get. So can you please follow me? Oh yeah, I forgot. They stop at the bush and start twirling like idiots. Okay. I gotcha, I gotcha. I'm coming! Yeah, just wait. Don't don't mind that I have a shovel. It's only for your face! Ah! Okay, there we go. So let's bring her body. And then let's get this thing started. All right, now the moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen. Let's drop that body in here. And then let us bury and- Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> Kudera said, hell no, I'm not gonna be in the same grave as Midori. Fuck that. Okay, we gotta redo that one. <laughs> okay, uh, shit. We can't unbury it. Fucking Kudere, why you gotta mess this up, huh? Why you gotta do that? Okay, I rearranged the bodies as best as I could. I think they both fit in the hole. So let's try to bury them and see what happens. See? Kudere keeps popping out! She's not obeying! What the fuck? She keeps saying, hell no, I am not gonna be buried next to Midori. Okay, so I don't think you can. But you know what? I'm gonna try it one more time because I honestly think that you can put two people in one hole. Let me try some different students. Okay, this time I'm choosing a boy and a girl just so I can make sure that it works. So let's start dragging this guy and we gotta place him just right. Okay, come on, fit in. Let me bend you a little bit backwards, buddy. 
Nope, get in there. There you go, feet sticking out a little bit, but we're okay. All right, now it's time for Kakoni. There you go, my love. You are gonna join your man, because even though you like Senpai, this is your man. This is your new man now, Senpai's mine. There you go, right by his crotch. <laughs> that should work. All right, so now we are going to bury, and yeah, all right. I don't think it works anymore. The bodies keep popping out. They just don't want to be together. They want their own grave. Very selfish people. That is officially debunked. On to the next one. Glitch. Go to the roof. Try to run into the bucket next to you. If you can position it right, you should be able to walk on the railings. Try killing Midori and drop her on Kakona during her call. Okay. As you guys can see, I am already on the railings because it is so damn difficult to get on the bucket, but I timed it just right and now I can actually walk on the bucket, walk on the sink, wait, there you go, and walk on the railings. It might take a few tries if you guys wanna try this out yourself. I'm doing this on the July 25th, 2016 build, but yeah. I am now walking on the railings like so. I really don't want to fall off, but you can fall off like so. See, you could fall off, no problem. Go back up there and then you can do it again. But right now we are going to kill Midori and then we are going to hang her off the railings over here. Then we are gonna drop her on Kikona and let's see what happens. There she is, so let's end Midori Gurino's life. Uh! And nobody saw that, so we're good. Oh fuck, somebody saw that. Fuck me. This is not good. This is not good. Okay, you know what? I gotta kill these people. Oh, die! Die! And oh, fuck, 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 no, no, no! No, fuck you! Shit! I forgot if you kill the sibling, the other sibling will attack you. Fuck! All right, take two. Bye, Midori. And I think it would be better if I just drag Midori instead of, you know, just picking her up. Because maybe it'll work better that way. So let's take her up here. There you go. Okay, Midori, watch your step. Wait. Oh, fuck me. This is gonna be weird. How am I gonna get her over here? Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nope. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, this is, oh, this is scary. Come on, Midori. Yes! There you go. Okay. So we are just gonna hang around here with Midori. And we'll see what happens when Kakona takes her phone call. All right, here we go, guys. Kakona's right there. It's showtime. Drop her. Like so. No, it can't be. Oh, shit! It can't be. I got her! Oh, fuck. That is so awesome! This I killed Kakona tragedy. with Midori. Why would anyone do this? Oh, that is so fucking awesome. Oh, wait, I didn't. No, I There's didn't. Kakona ran away school. after she saw the body. We need help right what? Ah, oh, damn. I don't think you could kill Kakona with Midori's body. That sucks. Let me try that again, but this time, let me carry Midori's body. I honestly don't know how I'm gonna do this, guys, because if I turn my body 180 degrees, I am gonna fall off right in front of Kakona. So I gotta figure out if it'll work. Let me try dropping her. Yes, there you go, there you go, there you go. Oh, her leg hit her on the head, but it didn't kill her. Let me see if I could go down. Nope. What have you done? Oh, shit, what have I done? What have I done, Kakona? Run! Stop oh, fuck, the right teacher's now. coming to get me. Let me see if I can go up and do the railing glitch. Fuck, no! Go! Go, Yanchan, go! You got this, baby girl! Okay, nobody's behind me. I'm good. Everything is Gucci. Get up here. And... Come on, come on, the teacher's gonna get me. Shit! Oh, fuck! Oh, oh, you can't get me! Ha! You can't get me, loser! Fuck yeah! All right, I'm gonna be right here. We are good to go. Yeah! Oh, shit! Okay! She got me and she pinned me and we didn't fall to the ground. All right, but anyway, that is a pretty damn cool glitch. If you guys want to try that out and potentially kill Kakona with Midori's body or anybody, then you could try that. Just do the steps that I just did. That's a cool ass glitch. On to the next one. Can you bury someone while they're sleeping? Oh, that is so fucked up, but I love it. You guys know that I love that fucked up shit. So we are going to find out right about now. I'm pretty sure that you can because you can bury a student 
when they're just in the hole. I don't think it matters if they're alive or dead. Or maybe they might shoot out like they do when you have multiple students in there. But we are going to try it on this girl. So let's go to the tranquilizing room and get this girl to go to sleep. Oh, and shout out to the guy who did the character modeling for the nurse. I told him that she was very nice, but she doesn't have the big booty anymore. And when you look at her with the camera, she no longer has an arm. Okay. So when you look down at the booty, her arm gets amputated. But then when you look up, it's back in there. What the fuck? No arm, arm. No arm, arm. No ass, still no ass. Okay, anyway, let's get this. Let's get that. Oh, sorry. What are you doing carrying a syringe around? That's weird. You know what? Your face is weird. Let's go to the trank room. Come on, get in here. There you go. Let's close the door and track that hoe. Okay. And then drag the body and let's get the fook out of here. So I'm going to go here. There you go. And let's drag her over to her early grave. Here we go, guys. It's the moment of truth. Let's see if we can bury a sleeping body. Let's drag this girl right over here. And I don't even think you have to, like, really put her in the hole. I think if one girl's in the hole, then she'll never pop out. I don't know that for sure, but I know this for sure. She's about to get her sleeping ass buried. And that's a fucked up way to die, to be honest. With all that dirt, you know, in your mouth when you're trying to inhale. Oh, I don't even want to think about it! But, she's gone. We have to dispose of our syringe. So we're good. Activate that. Fast forward through the day. And let's see what happens. The school day has ended. Teachers must walk through the school and tell any lingering students to leave. While walking around the school, a teacher discovers a corpse. How the fuck did she discover a corpse? Was she like going around the garden area? And she's like, you know what? I feel like digging this hole today. Oh wait, there's a student here. Let me call the police. The police arrive at school. The police discover the corpse of... Nobody. Just a period. The police are unable to locate any murder weapons. The police question Yandere chan but cannot link her to any crimes. Okay. Alright, so there you go, guys. That is true. You can bury a sleeping person. The teachers will find a corpse, but then when the police identify it, they won't be able to put a name to it. But you know what? The question was, can you bury a sleeping body? And the answer is yes, you can. On to the next one. Jay, I got one. If you go to the bush near the gardening club, you'll hear a kitten noise. Bull fucking shit. There is no kitten in the game as of July 25th, 2016 build. I don't even think that there is a kitten noise. It was just an idea at the time. I mean, for all we know in the future, if you guys are watching this, there could be a cat in the game right now. But for this build, there is nothing. Let's see if we can hear something. Wait a minute. Hold on. Did you hear that, guys? Wait, I think you gotta turn up your headphones for that. I hear something. It's saying... Bullshit. This myth is bullshit. Yeah, I heard that. Hold on. Let me hear it one more time. Hold on. Don't fall for the cat clickbait bullshit. Yeah, guys, I definitely heard something. I don't know if it was a cat noise, but I heard somebody talking something. I don't know. It was kind of weird. Hopefully, you guys can interpret what it says. I didn't hear a kitten noise, though, so that is officially debunked. On to the next one. Kill any student and don't hide their body. Bury your bloody clothes and weapon in a dug up hole. Will you get away with murder? Ooh, I like that one. I like that one so much it made my damn nipples hard. For this one, I am gonna use the axe so I can throw it in the hole no problemo. It's not like I can't throw any other weapon in the hole no problemo, but I wanna hit Midori with the axe! Yeah! We got our axe, we got our bloody clothes. We are now going to dig up the spots. Sometimes it doesn't pop up for me for some reason. That's weird. There you go, we'll dig this one up. And I honestly don't think this one is gonna work. It's gonna be like that situation where we buried the sleeping student. It's gonna say, oh, they found the blank. Like, it's not gonna show the weapons that they found, but it's gonna say that they found something. But you know what? We gotta check to make sure because that's the beauty of this series. So let's dump the axe, big ass axe. Oh shit, get in there. Get in your hole. What? I can't pick it back up. What the fuck? There is no symbol for me to pick it up. Hey, come on. Oh my goodness. Yeah, sometimes it glitches out. Like once you drop something in the hole, you can no longer do anything about it. But you know what? Let's dig it back up. And the shovel's gone. 
the motherfucking shovel is gone. Yeah, it's been glitching out lately. We gotta do this again, and I gotta make sure the shovel doesn't disappear this time. All right, we are gonna try this one again. I put the shovel out here on purpose so I know exactly where it is, just in case it disappears again. So let's drop this, and then drop the naifu. There you go. Let's take the shovel, and then we are gonna bury the knife and my uniform, and then I'll show you guys Midori's body so you know that it's not hidden. And everything else should be good. There's no blood anywhere, and I don't have any bloody footprints. So we buried the weapon, buried the clothes, Midori's body is right here. Let's fast forward time and see if we can get away with this murder. School day has ended, teacher discovers a corpse. The police arrive at school. The police discover the corpse of Midori Gorino. The police discover a knife that is stained with the blood of Midori. The police find- ah, they found it. So there you guys go. The police will find the weapon stained with Midori's blood and has your fingerprints on it. It didn't say anything about the bloodstained uniform, but the fact is that they found the knife anyway, so that is debunked. You can't get away with murder if you bury the weapon and the uniform. On to the next one. Myth. Let a mind slave's fountain of blood get on your clothes in the view of Senpai. He will think you are the murderer. Okay, Senpai, you think I'm the motherfucking murderer? Let's see if that is true. We are gonna do it as soon as we can, so I'm gonna give her this right here. Come on, get up. Get up, because I know Senpai walks in the middle of the crowd like he's some hot shit. Look at him! Look at him, watch. When everybody comes to the middle, he's gonna be right there like he's somebody. There you go, Senpai saw it. He's backing that ass up. Michael Jackson in this bitch. Yep, she's getting stabbed, which I still think is brutal as hell. Probably the most brutal animation in this whole damn game. Yeah, everybody's backing their ass up. Maybe I should back my ass up too. To act like I'm one of them. Oh, there you go. She's about to do it. So I need to let her blood get on me. Then Senpai is going to think that I'm the murderer. So he's looking. And then... There you go. Get on me. Get on me, get on me. There you go. Ah, yeah, we got a blood shower. Did anybody do anything? No. No? Be. Oh, there you go! Oh my god! We did it! You just murdered someone! Alright, there you go! If you get the blood on you, Senpai is gonna think that you're the murderer, even though he clearly just that saw Saki brutally stab the fuck out of Kakona about ten times. So yes, that is true. If you want to get framed for murder by Saki, do those steps, get showered in the fountain of blood, on to the next one. Myth. Get Obasu's sister to follow you and kill her. Clean yourself up, laugh, burn the weapon, clean up the blood, but do not hide the body. Get the other student to follow you and show her the body. Will she attack you with no evidence? Alright, this one seems very interesting, so we are gonna go up to the roof, grab this naifu, and then we are gonna fast forward to about, I don't know, 725? That sounds about right. And the Basu sisters should be showing up. There you go, you're three minutes late, Basu sisters. We are gonna get the trailing Basu sister to follow us. Excuse me, can you follow me, please? Okay, lead the way. All right, I'll lead you. I'll lead you to the stairway to hell, baby. We are gonna go right here, come on. And blah blam! And just so nobody sees, I am gonna hide you right here so your sister can find you later. Alright, so let's clean up the blood, throw away the weapon, get all changed and look all spiffy, and then show her sister her new location. Let's throw this away. And let's throw this away. Activate. And now we just need to clean up the blood and we should be good to go. Why the hell is it so damn dark in here? I don't like it. I want to put her body outside. It's way too dark in here. I won't be able to tell if she can see her body. So let's just put her right at the end. There you go. And now let's go get the Basu sister and get this shit started. Oh, Basu sister, can you please follow me? I want to show you your sister. I hope this works. This would be so awesome if she was just like, you know what, I think you did it. I'm gonna fight you, pin you to the ground, motherfucker. So come on, you see that body? <laughs> Whose body is that? Oh my God, is that a dead body? Hell yeah, it is, what you gonna do about it? Gotta get to safety. <laughs> Where's safety for you? Going back up on the roof? Where is safety? Hold on, she is going to the railing. Okay, I guess the railing is her safe place. 
There's been a death at Academy High. We need help right away. All right, there you guys go. If you clean up yourself, get all the blood off you, throw away the weapon, clean up the blood around the body, and then show the Basu sister her dead sister, then she won't fight you. She'll just go back up to the roof and call the police. So that is officially debunked. On to the last myth of today's episode. Jay, if you bury a corpse the next day, will it be there? By the way, you are that dude and my bae. We are going to get a random person, bury the body, fast forward to the next day. Well, we gotta get away with the murder first so the police don't notice anything. And then we'll dig it back up. I seriously doubt that it's there. I don't even think that that would be a thing. But you know what? We are gonna try it anyway. Let's get her to follow us. All right, let's put the body right here. And then bury that up. You know, I'm a little disappointed though that we can't bury more than one body at a time. That would have been so epic because then I would have tried to bury like three, four, five people and then just see it be flat instead of like a round mound of dirt. That would have been so awesome. But we have to remember that the place where we buried the girl is in the middle one. So we got to dig that up the next day. And the shovel doesn't mean anything because we didn't use it to kill anybody. Now all I have to do is take a shower, throw away the naifu and the day and let's go home. Wait a minute, I can't remember where I killed her because I don't see any blood anywhere. That is so random. Because I could have sworn I killed her around here, but there's no blood. Whatever. Okay, let's fast forward through the day, and hopefully the teacher doesn't discover a corpse. Yup! Okay, good. So, there's no police coming. We are gonna go to sleep, go back to the middle grave the next day, and let's see if we can uncover a body. Let's grab the shovel, and honestly, I don't know if we can uncover it, because, yep, it's not even letting us unbury it. So we can dig here, we can dig that. We can't dig those, though. Yeah, for some reason, the digging symbol isn't popping up for any of these things, except this one, this one, this one, and this one. Okay, so let me try digging this one. Let me try putting another body inside of this hole. Fast forward through the day, doing the same steps that I did, and then let's see if I can uncover it the next day, because it's been happening to me since I started this episode. Like, you know, in the beginning of the episode, I was using this hole, then this hole, then this hole, then this hole. It's because every time I fast forward through the day, it's not letting me uncover the dirt anymore. So I don't know if that's a glitch, or if you use the dirt one time in a playthrough, you can't use it again. I have no idea. We are going to use this one. Then we are going to see if we can uncover the dirt the next day. This time I have Pippi. Going to bury her. Then I'm going to do all the necessary steps to make sure I get away with this murder. And let's see what happens. Let's grab our shovel. And please let us uncover it. Nope. See? You can't dig it up anymore. So, you can dig up these though, but I already used up all these holes in the playthrough, so I guess you can't re-dig up the holes. But yeah, that is gonna be debunked. I personally don't think that there's gonna be a body in there, plus you can't even re-dig up the hole anyway, and that's gonna do it for the last myth of today's episode. But as I was playing this game, I thought of my own myth. What if you have Saki kill Kokona, and you know how the new animation is about 10 to 15 seconds long? Would that be enough time to destroy distract the teachers for you to steal the papers or not. I want to try that out right now. I'm going to spawn Saki Mind Slave and hopefully we can make this work. Wait, I'm not going to give her the weapon yet. I got to make sure Kokona is free to follow me and then we're going to get this thing started. All right, here comes Saki. She's going to do her thing. There you go. Oh, these two teachers aren't distracted though. What the fuck? Hey, look, teachers, look. Come on, please look. Ah, oh, the other teachers aren't looking. That's some bullshit. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work. Unless I put... Maybe if I put Saki and Kakona right here, maybe they'll all notice. Hold on, let me try that real quick. This time, I'm going to have Kakona right here so most of the teachers can see. All right, here you go. New place. There you go. All the teachers are looking now. Fuck. They're all looking at Saki, but I think they might notice me stealing this answer sheet. Okay, let's see. Oh, we're good. We're good. Fuck yeah. Come on. You can do this, Yanchan! You got this, baby girl! Yes! 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 We stole the papers! Thank you, Saki! Thank you, Kokona! Fuck yeah! Okay, I knew that shit would work! That is true! You can get the Saki Mind Slave to distract the teachers while you steal the paper. So that is true, and that is going to do it for today's episode of Yandere Simulator Myths. If you guys have any more comments, questions, challenges, or myths you want me to potentially try in the next video, please leave them in this comment section below, and I will choose the most creative and unique ones. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like, and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead too!